Hey, welcome guys. Hey, today just another quick uh, 3D printed project. Uh, here I have a from Babylon 5, Vanilla Babylon 5 set lately because I've been rewatching the show. But anyway, uh, I found this file on Thingiverse. This is the Shadow Scout ship and uh, kind of an organic ship if you're not familiar. And I printed it out as you can see. I have all the supports that I have on it. I did, did just did an auto support setting and then added a few more supports on some of these appendages coming out here. Now one of them for some reason printed out short. I believe it's supposed to come all the way out like the others. Um, so I'm not real sure what happened with that but um, I'm just going to leave it as it is. It doesn't take a whole lot away from the uh, model and um, Perhaps it was just a damage, since it is an organic ship, perhaps it was damaged and it's in the process of growing back. So anyway, that's what I'm going to say on it anyway. So from here, pretty simple build. I'm not going to try to do any lighting effects or any, anything like that. Uh, first thing I need to do is uh, clip off all these supports and I need to be careful with that. And then I'm going to do some light uh, sanding. And it does have some kind of uh, rigid edges here. Uh, since it's an organic ship, I'll probably sand those down a little bit and uh, we'll put some primer on it and uh, pretty much just going to be a simple paint job and um, that's about it. We'll make a little display stand for it and uh, add this to my Babylon 5 collection. All right, after um, several coats of primer and a bit of sanding here and there, I think I'm ready to add on a base coat to our Shadow Scout. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, from here, I'm just going to add on a base coat, and I'm just going to use some of this Rust-Oleum uh, aluminum, or just, yeah, metallic aluminum. This is the base coat. Now, a lot of this isn't going to be seen. Uh, we're going to cover it mostly with some black hand painting to kind of do all the different spots around it. And I think the uh, metallic aluminum will make a nice base coat for that. And there's going to be some clear coats on top of that, so very little of that's actually going to be showing. So I'm just going to apply that base coat, and then we'll start hand painting on all the many little black dots that go on our ship. All right, as you can see here, I'm working on my painting. I first did my base coat with the Rust-Oleum aluminum. You can see the color on there. Give that time to dry. Now I'm just painting all, painting all the different spots and for that I'm just using some uh, Model Master acrylic gloss black to paint in all my dots. And this is taking me, I've got about half done, it's taking me about 30-45 minutes to do that. Um, just trying to make it uh, just random, uh, random shapes, uh, trying not to uh, have too many gaps. Um, with the silver, or at least uh, small gaps between each of the black dots. And it's a little bit tricky. It does help having the uh, support rod already connected. Obviously, you can see how I'm, I'm able to hold it because there's a lot of spinning. All these little spines that come off of are a bit tricky because you have to kind of get up in there with the paintbrush. So just uh, basically, um, it's actually kind of fun painting it because you know, it doesn't really matter the pattern you don't have to worry about masking or going over lines and you can just kind of do how you want and uh rather than being a, a bit tedious because of all the uh, dots that you'll end up having to paint in uh, it's kind of fun and fairly easy to do and i think the uh look of it's uh, coming out really nice so really pleased with how that's looking so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up with this i may do some kind of clear coats uh, but when we come back we'll look at the uh, finished model all right, well, here's my finished Babylon 5 Shadow Scout Vessel. I finished up painting all the black dots with my black acrylic paint. And then I uh, did several coats with this uh, clear acrylic uh, gloss coat. Uh, I wanted it to have kind of a shiny wet look. And uh, I, of course, made a simple display stand. Uh, just taking some of this pink insulating foam. I had a little piece of uh, wood that I attached it to. I take a... Uh, lighter and kind of melt it down a little bit, cover it white glue, put sand on it, and then paint it up. Very simple process. I, make, I think it makes a, a nice little display for our vessel there. So uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Again, this uh, file is on Thingiverse. It's free. Um, 
printed out uh, really nicely. And uh, I think it'll be a nice um, addition to my Babylon 5 collection. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Until next time, everybody have a good one.